Guys, we are here. We spent most of the day cleaning up out here. It's a big mess. Trust me, it was worse before, but I'm in a mood to throw shit out and I need to make room for necessary Honda components on the car, such as the hood, the fenders, the whole front end. Organization is key. I've said it before and I'll keep saying it. Anthony, what are you doing? The trans is stuck. It's stuck? No. No? It's normal. Anthony's doing he's bored I was like you could strip the block if you want and I'm kind of curious to see what's in the trans and what's in the engine look he want to see he's he gonna be take the hero. your glory good Anthony look it's working he want to be the hero go for it that's, it that's the ticket oh there's tranny fluid Motherfucker. oh man oh my god Anthony what the Dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big mess. Just work, Anthony. That's fucking bored. No way, it spins still. Yeah. What should? KOBO. <laughs> Little clean up. Now to pop the head off. Let's we'll see what the future brings. And in there, we have a bunch of corn kernels and other stuff that I don't want to put my hand in to show you. Anthony got the light. Look at all that shit in there. That's That shouldn't be in your intake, I'll tell you that. Bolts are out of the intake. Hopefully it comes. There we go. Voila. Oh, more coolant. Oh, I want to see under the head, which I think it's going to be, we're going to be disappointed. It's going to be fine. You think so? Yeah. Let's see. Ooh, ooh. Just. <laughs> oh, we got popcorn. We got? We oh, got yeah. popcorn. We got Little corn. piece. Oh, it stinks. There's some popcorn remnants. Not bad. The engine is fine, look. For all that, what we did to it, the Not engine's bad, fine. Man. Wait, you're that much. Ooh. Engine wasn't dead. They're gonna tell me to try to keep to keep it now. Why are we gonna keep it in the trash? Damn. You know you can sell this block, get some money out of it. See what I tried doing to it? Yeah. Really? It's fine. Like you can see, it's fine. Damage and roll. I can believe it. If anyone wants a D13? Let me know. Cheap. So just like that, the engines the engine is somewhat back together. Surprisingly, it's fine. Not surprising, because a lot of you guys said that it well, I was not gonna blow it up. So what really let go was the transmission. So I think what I'm gonna do now, drink a little more, and then probably take the, uh, the fenders and the bumper off the Civic. And then drink a little more. And then drink more. It'll be nice to strip this completely. There's not much left to do to strip, to be honest. And if anyone is running the Chase Bay brake line kit that goes behind the dash, let me know how it fits, be honest. Let me know if you guys are running that currently and uh, the pros and cons to it. Before I start tearing apart the EK, let's just admire what is on the table right here. Radiator, full cooling system, check. Headers, check. Main engine harness, check. Throttle body, 
We need some stuff for that. Port mount, mounting kit, big check. And we also have here the side mount pulley kit. This is all good stuff here, people. This is all great stuff. Very hyped about this. All right, so before we start tearing this apart, um, Dagnell got a new little toy here. He just set it up today. He wants to get like a bench and stuff for it. Excuse the noise, but you guys know what this is? You know what this is. He said he's needed. Look at all these levers. It's so Mickey Mouse, this machine. It's a Wonka machine. Turn the speed up. Ramp, ramp the speed up. You gotta shut it off. It changed the belt. Ah. Uh, From 1952. She is in mint condition. You got a good deal on her. Let me know in the comments what you guys think that he paid for this fine piece of machinery. If anyone needs a ghost gun, you know my DM. We could make that happen, I'm just saying. Look at that book. Original manual from the 50s. Settings, books, specs, receipts, look at this. I'm not gonna show too much because it has addresses on it, but all labeled. The guy was a nut. That's crazy. This on eBay is probably like $100. The inside of it's fresh, my hands are Don't touch it, though. yeah. I mean, some people are he like had that like and it's 500 nice. guns. Yeah. He had a machine. Dagnell said his basement was like a machine shop. All machines, meh. He was a gunsmith. So, you could make something, a gun with that. If you knew what you were doing. Set you guys up on the old tripod and go to town. Side skirt, no fenders, no bumper, no headlights, some rust, more rust. We knew that was gonna happen. That is bad, Anthony. Piss poor. I don't know if that was like that when we painted it, right? Or maybe we're like, oh, we'll do it when we do the bay. Yeah, we'll fix it. Look at the amount of seam sealer that these dumb fucks used right here. Yeah, somebody was in a rush on Friday. That was a Friday. That was a Friday was afternoon. Friday. It was almost five. It was like unbelievable. But now we get to fix it all. Uh, it's not bad. Everything else, because I did fender line the tubs, so that's situated. That's good. Maybe paint. Oh no, we're not. I'm not doing that. First, I wish I could throw these in the trash. You guys know that. Discovery. Oh, that's on there. Well. Oh my God, Anthony. Look, there's water in there. There's water in there. So bad. It can always be worse though. That's how you gotta look at things. It can always be worse. Get a fix, you know. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. That's so, so recently my windshield got a crack in it out of nowhere. I woke up, there was a crack in it. I've never taken the rain tray off. Let me tell you, under here, boy. Oh, no. oh my. Kid, where'd that come from? That's fucking fuck escape from Russ. That's bad. That's it's always something. Maybe I'll put it in little jars and sell it online. Then maybe put a gold nugget in it. The rust I you collect. You gotta dip the nugget. <laughs> we've, been, we've been plugging our way at it. Headlight harness. Headlight harness is coming out. I'll take that. Right yeah. Off. The engine mounts off. I got to pop the trans mount off over there. Might tuck the harness. Might do a uh, well, tuck slight brake. Tuck, like, slight tuck. Yeah. The fuse box I think is quite easy to tuck. Rust discoveries. Look at all the holes. It's okay. I'm not stressing. I'm not panicking. It's fine. It's a Honda. It's a Honda. 
Like I said, it's just a Honda, you know? Right here, we gotta take off the filter, the fuel filter, the evap, all that stuff has to come off still. Update, rust everywhere. They, yeah, they see rust everywhere for sure. We're in a predicament. Probably not gonna epoxy the whole thing. I'd like to sandblast the whole thing, but it's probably not gonna happen because it's a lot of work and I wanna drive this car. This year would be nice. This year. So doing that Wait. prolongs things. And then you do more shit. I just wanted silver and then I could K24. And you hate me. I just wanna bang gears, Anthony. I don't give a fuck. It's a Honda. It's gonna sandblast down here. Wire wheel. Lines on here will be AN. Brake lines, AN. Fuel lines, AN. That is so poor, right on my shoe. Brake lines now, and the power steering fluid, which sucks, it's making a huge mess. As you can see, we got it dripping in this Corona bottle down there. Let's see the Mount Anthony. Mm -hmm. Do your magic. What's the bracket? Bracket, for oh. the for the mounts. Just look at it. The vision, Anthony? Yeah. That's snug as fuck. Right there. Is it the same as the factory? No. Yeah, no, it is. Holes. Better. Same oh, holes. same holes. Same, same different holes. positioning. Same, different same holes, position. but better. Draining. Disconnecting the brake lines as we speak. And then the power steering. So we're going to make a big mess, and it's going to suck, but do it once. Get it over with. Yeah. And that's it. All right, so the brake lines are disconnected from the fronts. This Hold on. could all be tucked Hold on. up nice. I'm not gonna bend it too much. Take videos for reference. 10 mil down there. We'll take videos for reference. Yeah, you ain't getting no reference from that. That's getting straight deleted. <laughs> That's reference. I pushed the car outside because I got brake fluid all on my wheels. Probably clean up in here. And then go in the car. The booster has to come out. So I'll probably take it outside and just give it a little, little spritz. Water. Strip it completely to clean it, doing like 10 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Mm hmm. Almost the same as an S chassis. Small. That's leaking all over. That's all right. Small so, in diameter. Put it on the ground. Vacuum this shit out. As you guys could see, yeah, spray it around it. Show them. Show them the shit all in there. It's such shit. In the tray. It's wet still. We're going to vacuum it up. We got to be quick though because there's brake fluid all over the paint. Whack that thing. This thing rips for a 65. What do you mean? They all hit. Back nose. The they all hit. One. You care I take I it one more time, real quick? Yeah, go, go ahead, rip it in the it. trail. Give me a buck. I have a new piston for it. So. One buck. Like I was saying, Monday, buck. paint world, mini DA. Yeah. That will be key for this. We have though. We do so much paint fucking shit. I gotta buy one. Oh, I'm okay. surprised you don't have one, Anthony. The DA that I have, it's not even mine. He's a painter, he doesn't even own a mini DA. Would you believe that? All that muck. It's falling right down. <laughs> okay, you're spraying in my car. Yeah, it's See already that big wet. Hole right there? Remember the other day we got in yeah, it? Yeah, it doing stunk. Something? ECU? Stunk. It stunk so bad. That, that hole. Voice. No, this is why. There's holes. There's holes in your ship. I know it's draining the compressor now. Oh my. No, we never drain it. Look at it. Oh, so much water. We don't yeah. even drain. Dumbasses. This is gonna make a yeah. All right, so it's been going for like 30 seconds. A steady flow, Set, steady stream. That's so bad, dude. He's in this little oh, we gotta dog. Do, we gotta piss do a different mat. piss mat. Is it soaked up? Oh yeah. Oh my god, it's like a dirty diaper. Oh. <laughs> we gotta run a hose outside with this thing. It's fucking too bad. Yeah. Look at that. Dude, there's like probably two gallons in it. Really? Probably hasn't been since the last time I did it. Yeah, look at it. The piss mat popped, dude. There's a lot of water in there. You think? Is there? Drain it, drain it. Open it up. Open it up. It makes such a mess all, all over all my shit around here. Look at that piss mat, it's expanded. 
It is blowing up like a fucking balloon. Probably filled to like here. No. Dude, you guys don't drain it, and I tell you all the time. We gotta get a few, quite, quite a few more of those. Oh my god. Oh. That's a wrap. Civic's back in the shop. Now we gotta just clean, prep, clean. Basically strip though. Good to see it finally strip. Might pull the whole dash out. I think it'll be easiest to just pull it out so that we can just route things correctly. I'm going to get McDonald's right now because I got heavy points. We're here the next day. I'm going to wrap it up there though because I got to run some errands. I got to get sandpaper, sandblast material. Got to take the windshield. We got to, we got to do stuff. So with that being said, stay tuned for the next one. But after analyzing this a little more, this whole piece might have to be replaced right here. Because it is quite bad in there and underneath. But we got to take the windshield out. Yeah, let me know what you guys think of the video. It's a little minor hiccup. It looks great on the upside. Today is the last day to place your order. Clean design, you know, shout out in. And my favorite, and your guys' favorite, best seller, right here. We got the cement. That's a sharp looking hoodie if I ever seen one. <laughs> if I seen that in the stores, I'm copping it. So, link will be in description, shopdjnoway.com. Tees, crew necks, hoodies, gray, cement, go get yours. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.